Who is this dashing man you see in front of you on screen? You might be thinking to yourself, is that Hank Green from SciShow? No. That annoying one that looks like Hank Green? Also no. This is not a man of science, but he is a writer of fiction. But don't worry, or fret. He didn't write these abominations. This is Joseph Staten. You might know him from some pretty famous video games. But before we get into all that, let's learn about the guy behind the smile. Joseph Staten grew up in San Francisco, California, and was the son of a minister. Oof. Hello all. I'm here today to talk about Joseph Stalin. He was a pretty bad dictator. Hang on. We're supposed to be talking about gaming. What's this got to do? Oh, it's Joseph Staten who I'm supposed to be talking about. Ah, my mistake. All right, let's get on with it. When his journey began, he wanted to work in theatre. He attended Northwestern in 1990, but after he met the other students, he realised he wasn't the leading man material. The other dudes were just too hot, and he was looking kind of like a nerd. At five feet six inches, with his slender frame, and easily swallowed by his full fed of hair, black plastic frame glasses on a long sleeve shirt. He looked like an adult in a kid's body. Morgan. This clearly wasn't going to work, but he stuck with it and performing each week. After he graduated, he went to Japan for a year to teach English and then came back to get a master's degree in international relations at the University of Chicago. After he got his degree, his goal was to work for the CIA. And this is a quote from him. I had visions of going to Afghanistan, growing a beard and actually doing field work. I was always fascinated growing up with spying. Not the James Bond stuff. Doing the actual work of spying. The acting of spying was oddly appealing to me. End quote. But unfortunate for him, unfortunate for Halo fans, he didn't get accepted into the CIA. And he ditched the idea to work for the Foreign Service. He eventually got a video game obsession, and at the time he was playing Myth. And the group of people he was playing with were the Bungie employees. He seemed to get along with all the rest of the group and he eventually got asked to come in for a job interview which went well and he worked for the International Marketing Department. As the years went on, he was contacted by Tor Books, the publisher of the Halo franchise and he was asked to write the fifth book, Halo Contact Harvest. Now, the reason they contacted him at the moment, I don't know. He must have been writing some other short stories and it got him some attention from Tor Books because he made the leap from working in the marketing department to writing the fifth Halo book to becoming a creative director. Bungie. Some big leaps, bounds, and jumps. I'm back here to tell you some interesting, some more interesting facts about Joseph Staten and some of the stuff that he worked on. He also wrote and helped direct the cinematics for the Halo games. During his work on the Halo games, he was actually given the opportunity to revisit his acting roots and he, for a fun fact, did the voices for the Grunts that are well known within the franchise. If you're not uh, aware of the Grunts, here's a little clip of the classic Grunt voice and silly humour. I used to work for the Didact. It was okay, I guess. 
worked for a Chul and Dama mostly. But he was a jerk. Almost got us all killed, and then he did, and that was okay too, I guess. I mean, not dead's better than dead, right? Just ask my buddy Flurp. He's dead, he doesn't like it. At least he doesn't say he likes it. Anyhow, the whole time I knew the didact, he said like three words. Three. He said, I can't be composed. I wonder if he wanted that for himself and was afraid. I hope he found a way to be that, and also not afraid. You know, I was afraid they'd find out that I shoot it for, but I, I blamed it on the green demon guy. They actually blame a lot of things on that. You know that? That guy was the best. You could shoot him and shoot him, and he never fell over. Not like... He also worked on Crackdown 3, but um, yeah, we all know how that ended up. The only reason it went well was because of this guy. What are you doing in my fridge, Commander Jackson? You gotta step it up, Terry Crews! The enemy should never see you go! And then finally on September 24th, 2013, Joseph Staten stepped down as Bungie's writer and creative director on the studio's upcoming world shooter, Destiny. Here are a few words from the man himself. Dear community friends, after 15 years at Bungie, from the battlefields of Myth to the Mysterious and Halo Beyond, I'm leaving to tackle new creative challenges. While this may come as a surprise, fear not. It's my pleasure building Destiny with the past four years, and after the big reveal on Summer, our hugely talented team is on track for greatness. I'll be cheering all of them, with all of you. When the game launches next year, thank you for your support of me, and your continued support of Bungie. We will continue what we couldn't have done without you." Ends quote. 